dream again. Oh, let's see if this woman can understand me. Pika, 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 pika! That answers that question. So why can I understand them? Pika! Hey, get out of the road! Pika! Pika, 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 pika! <laughs> this is the worst. There's gotta be someone out there who gets what I'm saying. It's been two months since my dad disappeared. I've come here to Rhyme City to start looking for clues. I'm going to start by speaking with his friends and co-workers. Let's see. The Baker Detective Agency. Hmm? Hey! What is this? That side. You got it. Come on. Wait. Hold it. Hey, I can't see. You turn red. Hold on to it. Easy for you to say, but I got you. Ow! 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 ow, ow. My ears. That's me. Oh, sorry, old timer. Pikachu. You're stretching out my ears. Would you let me go? That was you talking. Could have been more gentle, setting me down. Sorry? Huh? Are you able to understand what I'm saying? Uh, is everything all right with you? Just talking to yourself? What? Wait, she didn't understand him? So, it seems that you're the only one who can understand what I'm saying. That's impossible. I don't really know what's going on, but you can understand me, so, all right. <laughs> what are you talking about? No! Oh. The Apom, Pikachu, the necklace! Let's follow him. Are you ready? We can't just stand here while these ladies are in trouble. Wait, well, hold on a second. <laughs> there they are! What are they doing? That's a lot of ketchup. I hope they don't let it all go to waste. That's not too bad, even with all the ketchup on it. Stop right there! Get back that necklace! <laughs> Oh, they're quick. And now they've run for higher ground. Well, they're going all out, aren't they? Let's use that. Alright, let's raise it up. Don't worry about me! Hurry and go get that necklace! No, I can't do that! Oh, oh, oh. Well, thank you very much. Uh, guess they got away. Did you find anything out? Yeah. Looks like the APOM ran off that way. So we're gonna follow. Good idea. We're counting on you. Please. It's my precious necklace. Alright. Just leave it to us. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Show off for the girls? No, of course not. Hey, whatever you need to do, my friend, I'm all for it. And it seems like you might be somewhat helpful on this case. Are you saying you're a real detective? I'm not just a detective. I'm a great detective. Detective Pikachu. Speaking of, what's your name? I'm Tim. Tim Goodman. Tim? Yeah, what's wrong? Nothing. 
Nothing at all. Nice to meet you, Tim. Now, let's go find the APOM. Right. Isn't that a napalm? <laughs> Smells like a case. Now it's getting interesting. What do you think happened, Pikachu? Hmm. Uh, just a berry. I don't see any wounds or anything. Just seems to be unconscious. I don't see the necklace anywhere. If we investigate why it's unconscious, I bet we'll figure that out too. This has all happened in a very short amount of time. But fortunately, there have been some traces left behind. Which means we'll need to investigate the scene. All right, first issue at hand, is who or what could have attacked the A-Pong. Whoever did that probably has the necklace, you see? When you investigated the scene, did you happen to find any potential clues to the culprit? So, what about the black feather? This is just a theory. Maybe a -Pong was climbing the tree and got attacked by the owner of the black feather. Does the feather call to mind a certain characteristic of the culprit? Yes, no doubt about it. This feather is from a Pokémon. Here's what we should do. Let's go around the park and we'll search for who this feather belongs to, right? That will be the first step in our investigation. And when you see Pokémon with feathers, be sure to jot them down. Okay, let's get going. Just make sure you keep up. Murkrow's nest could be up in this tree. Yeah. And it looks like no one's home. So, if we're going to investigate, I'll take a look. Let me know if it comes back. Right. Gotcha. I made it. No sweat. Now, is there any kind of evidence to be found in here? Oh. Here we go. Hey, Tim! Found something! Uh-oh. Is that... <coughs> Pikachu! It's Murkrow! Watch out! <coughs> <sighs> Thanks for the help. Nice catch. I took a bit of a hit there. But now we have the evidence we need. Hmm. It looks like we were correct. The black feather that we found at the scene definitely came from a Murkrow. Quick, let's do an interrogation. Murkrow! Ah! Ah! Uh, all right, I get it. I'm sorry I entered your nest without asking. Anyway, you fought with Apom, right? Murkrow! 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 You didn't, huh? Tim, why don't you show it what we found? This feather is yours, right? It was Lion next to the A-Palm that fainted. Alright, so it was you. I'm assuming you had your eye on the necklace. So, what did you do with it, huh? You lost it during the fight. That's a very lame excuse. And now you're saying it was someone else. But... It seemed like you and Apom were the only ones that were there. You're saying Burmy were in that tree. Uh, well, I guess we'll check that out. Uh-huh, right, right. Burmy, 
Hi. Sorry if we startled you. There was a fight at this tree earlier, and we think a necklace may have fallen nearby. You know anything? Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Wait! Don't leave yet! There's some more stuff we'd like to ask! I think they might be afraid. Well, they are jabbering about a ball flying around. A ball? Just two more questions. What happened after the fight? Did anyone else come around? We found it. It's Burmy. Are you sure? Yeah. But this one looks a little bit different from the ones we just saw. Hey, can we talk to you for a second? Oh! Don't get close to Burmy. Why? What in the world are you talking about? Are you its guardians? We're not trying to eat it or anything. We happen to be looking for something and we just want to talk to it. My questions have to be answered by you? I heard of being protective, but yeesh! Oh well. Wurma! Missing pen, and the busted cloak. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Wait, hold on. Bolts of brilliance! <laughs> the missing pen. We will find it in Burmese cloak! Yes, we're back. I'm sorry, but can we investigate your cloaks? Burmy! 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 What did they say, Pikachu? They said no way they get ticklish. Watch out! Burmy! Uh, you okay? Burmy! Uh, are they hurt? Sorry. Be more careful, okay? Okay. Hey, check it out. Looks like my prediction was right on. <laughs> That's great! What about the necklace? <laughs> Slow down and get into that. A genius cannot be rushed. All right, another theory. It was a plant cloak Burmy, and it got all caught up in Napalm's fight, which caused its cloak to break. Hey there, you got a sec. Would you mind if we took a look at your cloak? <laughs> We think the necklace we're looking for must have gotten mixed up in Burmy's cloak. It's not in the cloaks of the other Burmy, which means it can only be in this one. Come on, why are you so overprotective? Will you let us look if we show you some proof of a Burmy's cloak changing from plant cloak to trash cloak? 
That's good. Tim, do you have some proof? Yeah. Mm hmm. That's right. This is what happened. The Burmese cloak got caught in the fight between Murkrow and Napalm and broke. These leaves are from that cloak. But that's not all. Listen up. Burmy got flustered, and so it decided to make a new cloak out of nearby trash. Burmy! Burmy! Burmy, me, me! Burma? Burmy, me! Burmy, me, 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 me! Burmy, me, me! Thank you for your understanding. Now, I'll make this quick. Found it, the necklace. Yep. Let's go deliver it. Yeah. And that problem is solved. Oh, yeah. You're back. Here. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Magnus uh, and Pikachu. You're really nice. It was nothing. Yeah, because I did all the work. Well, Pikachu helped a lot, too. He seems like a great partner, and his hat's really cute. <laughs> well, I guess I should get going. Uh, okay. What are you doing? Invite her out to tea or something. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, well, anyway. You're going to the Baker Detective Agency, right? How did you know that? You don't get it, do you? I'm your father's. Detective Harry Goodman's partner? Currently, I'm working out of the Baker Detective Agency where we used to consult. Yeah? My dad's Pikachu. Is that really you? What do you mean, is that really me? Uh, sorry. But last time I saw you, you seemed cuter and a bit more docile. Oh. You say I used to be cute, huh? Unfortunately, I lost my memory. What? You've got amnesia? But you said you remember my dad. Well, it's not like I really remember him. I just figured it out from the other conversations. Hey, isn't your appointment at three? Let's go. Here we are. The offices are up on the second floor. When you meet with Baker, you probably shouldn't let him know you can talk to me. Of course I won't. Nobody would believe it anyway. Good. You're very smart. Fletch! Thank you, Fletchling. I'm back. This is Tim. Ooh, cookies. Hi, Pikachu. Lunch isn't ready yet. Good afternoon. Uh, hello. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. Amanda! Is that Tim? Yes. You're Mr. Baker, right? Oh, you must be Harry's son. I'm Amanda. It's nice to meet you. I'm Tim. Nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you, it feels like we've already met. And you look just like your dad. Hey, Pikachu! You're eating all of the sweets for the clients again! What's the problem? I need it more than them. My brain could really use a sugar boost. <laughs> hey! <laughs> My ears again! What are you doing? That hurts! Come on, let me go! You're hurting me! So, my dad had an accident while he was on a case investigating a Pokémon. Yes. And only Pikachu was left at the scene. It's been two months and, well, we still have no idea where your father is. But aren't the police investigating? Why hasn't there been any progress so far? Well, there is an investigation and a very reliable inspector is on the case. But even so, we still don't know anything. Tim, this is just between us. There are some suspicious things going on. They need to be investigated carefully. So please understand this may take a while. I'm gonna look for him, too. That's the reason I came here. Not a good idea. I understand how you feel, but it's too dangerous for you. But, sir... 
<sighs> Look, when there's any progress, I will let you know. In the meantime, don't do anything dangerous. I mean it. Your father would never forgive me, you know? I understand. Yes. This is my dad's apartment. <clears throat> yeah, it was my apartment too. We shared it. I haven't been here in two months. Well, that would explain all the dust. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It is a little bit of a mess, isn't it? He was like this at home too. He called it an organized mess and he knew where everything was. <laughs> That's what they all say. So. Tell me, what are you gonna do now? I'm guessing you don't plan on giving up the search. Of course not. Well, normally I would say that you probably should give it up. No way. Relax. I'm gonna look for him with you. Yeah? I've been looking for Harry long before you came along. <sighs> but it's gonna be a dangerous journey. So prepare yourself. Okay. Good. That's done. Now, since we'll be roommates, why don't we lay down some rules? Roommates? You can't just move in with me like that. Who's talking about moving in? This happens to be my apartment. If anyone's a freeloader, it's you. Oh, well, if you're gonna put it that way... Right, so it's settled then. Now let's start by searching right here. Oh, sure. How in the world did I get myself talked into this? Uh, Baker said that Dad was in the middle of investigating some Pokémon incident. Yeah. Well, let's start at the beginning. Maybe there's still notes in this room with the info that Harry was gathering. That's right. Dad must have found some clues and written stuff down. Let's look around. Yeah. Could this be? Pikachu! I think I found some notes. Really? <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, this definitely is. Good work, Tim. I'd say we're hot on Harry's trail now. Hmm. Hmm. Amelia, we need to run, but my hey, leg. There's someone here. Yeah, and it sounds like something's going on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Pikachu! Thunderbolt! Hey, don't boss me around! Unfortunately, I can't use birds ever since the accident. What? No, 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 no. Let's just get its attention. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Yeah. Great job, T. 
Jim. Thanks. This should take care of you. See you later, Glalie. You did it, Tim. Now, to help the ladies. <laughs> You okay? Hmm, that face. I think so. Um, but my friend here, she's hurt her leg. No, I'm fine. Uh, oh. uh, hey, don't push it. Thank you for helping us. My name is Mako. Uh. And this is... Thank you. Oh, hey, don't I know you from the... Oh yeah, in front of the station. Uh, really? You two know each other? He's the one who got the necklace back in that APOM incident. Uh, Oh, so that was you, huh? Uh-huh. My name is Tim Goodman. My name's Amelia. And hello, Pikachu. Amelia! What a nice name! So happy to see you again. You know- Nice to meet you, I'm Mako. <laughs> Aren't you a lively girl? <sighs> oh, it's a news camera. Have you ever seen one? We came to this cave to shoot some news coverage. Are you from a TV station? Yep, that's right. The super popular GNN. Hey, Tim. Do you think you could help us out the way you did with that Mako, necklace? Stop. stop! You can't track the- <sighs> Oh... Uh, uh, I'm afraid she's really hurt. We need to get her out of this cave now. Let's first confirm the situation. It's important to look around. Time to get moving, huh? So no more dawdling. Okay. a Pokemon that knows how to fly. Let's check the footage Mako shot. Maybe we'll see one on that. <sighs> Look for anything that'll help us escape. Right. Good evening, everyone. This is one of Rhyme City's Here we are, spots. reporting without Liquid a clue. Cave. Yeah. And the reason this cave is hey, so popular... Something weird's going on. Look, it's mood changed. Yeah. Its eyes changed color, then it attacked us. It completely lost control of itself. I've never seen a Glalie like this before. There are flying Pokémon. They're Drifloon. Yeah, but they're barely strong enough to lift up a child. I really don't think they'll be able to help get us out. If Drifloon can't help us... I don't know that we have any other options. It's attacking everything it sees. Griffin got frozen solid. Oh, my leg! I can't fall! Amelia, are you okay? <sighs> Here's where I thought we were definitely done for. Yeah, but thanks to you, we're safe, Tim. Oh, no need to think. Oh, you're talking to Tim. <laughs> hey, wait. That Pokemon in the back is flying, isn't it? Yes, it's a drift limb. I bet it could carry us. Perfect. Good eye, Tim. We may have our ticket out of here. We can get out if we just ask drift limb, right? Good. Let's go look for one. Drift. 
Well, we finally found Drift Club. Now, if we can just get the wind to blow, we'll be able to get out of here. Look at this. Hey, How's Pikachu. It's fine. What are you doing? Okay. Hurry up or it's gonna leave. Oh, sorry. Oh, what's this? Huh? What? Uh, 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 you know, you could have just told me you wanted to get up on my shoulders. <laughs> That's no fun. So, Driplin, we're counting on you. Drip. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a break, huh? The coffee is great here. Hey, Pikachu. Oh, do you two work together at the agency? Um, no. My name's Tim Goodman. I'm Harry's son. And it's, uh, nice to meet you. So you're Tim, huh? Well, I'm Pablo. Hi. Ludicolo here is our waitress. Whoa! Come on, Ludicolo. You can't greet someone properly with coffee cups still on your head. <laughs> so, any news about Harry? No, they still haven't found anything. Uh, well that's Harry. <laughs> I'm sure he'll pop up unexpectedly someday. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Here you are. Thank you, Pablo. Pikachu, need milk or sugar? Nah, no thanks. Mm, this coffee smells so good! Mm. Oh. Oh, you're right. Delicious. I know. Ah, it has the best aroma. As well as pleasant acidity, along with the bitterness and balanced body. Once you drink this, you won't be able to go to other cafes. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad loved coffee, too. You're liking that way. Thanks, that was delicious. Sure. Come back soon. Well, let's head back home. Okay. Oh, oh hello, Tim. Headed somewhere? Um, uh... More Pokemon incidents are going on. Be careful out there. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Welcome, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Pikachu never used to drink coffee before the accident. As I predicted, a strange incident occurred in the cave. Hmm. But we didn't find any clues about my dad. <sighs> That's true. But, this might be worth looking into. What is it? Well, I don't know exactly. Maybe a broken vial. But why would something like that be in a cave, you know? Wait a second. Look at the shape. Doesn't it look familiar? See? You're right. The shapes are similar. Hmm. If this is part of a vial, then pharmacies and hospitals might be suspect. Also, research facilities, too. Pikachu, even if we only checked hospitals, it'd take forever. Yeah, you're right. So we need to narrow it down even more. Oh, hey, Tim. Can you do me a favor and mark down where Harry got into his accident? Sure. I think it was around here. <sighs> This has been bothering me for a while now. Hear me out. The accident was someplace not even close to the marked areas on the map. So why does that matter? Well, try matching it up with the map of Rhyme City. Oh. Now you see what I mean? I think Harry had his accident on his way back from this place. 
Hmm, you could be right. We should investigate this place next. Well, here's the key. Why don't you go ahead and hold on to that for a while? Thank you, Mr. Baker. I was a little surprised when you called up asking to borrow the car, but you found a part-time job. And as a lab assistant, pretty impressive. Well, yeah. More of an errand boy than an assistant. It's a place called PCL. Oh. PCL, huh? A well-known Pokémon research facility. Good luck with your new job. Thank you. Tim! I just finished my lunch, so I'll be outside. Sorry I'm late. Where's your hat? What's wrong with you? Come on, let's go. Hey, sorry about that. I got tangled up with some Pokémon adoring cuties. Tim! Don't tell me you confused this guy for me, did you? Uh, <laughs> this Pikachu looks a lot like you. <sighs> Sorry if my buddy caused you any trouble. Pika. Pika, pika. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Pika, pika, is that so? Pika. Pika, pika, pika. Pika, pika, yeah, so I guess you two will make your dream come true. Tell your buddy to be the very best, like no one ever was. Pikachu! See ya! Pika! Pika Pikachu! I'm not sure, but it seemed like you couldn't understand what that Pikachu was saying. Mm-mm. I just heard its Pokémon cry. <sighs> So I guess it is only me you can understand. Mm-hmm. Such a mystery. Well, I guess it's off to the lab. Okay. I'd like to see if we can find another one of these vials. Right. Well, it's pretty unique. If we see one, we'll know it. I think we should inform the client of that. Good idea. Hello, Baker. Inspector Holiday. I'll leave you two alone. Thank you. Hey, Holiday. You make any progress? Nope. It's back to the drawing board. Harry's case remains a mystery. What about you? You got any news? Well, Harry's son, Tim, has decided to come for a visit. Hmm. You don't say. Well, I hope he hasn't come here to search for his father. Uh, that's exactly why he's here. I can't have him be involved in anything dangerous, so I gave him a bit of a warning. Yeah. Best not to let an amateur get involved in this. However, he is Harry's son, so do you think he's gonna listen to you? Uh, he seemed like an agreeable young man. Hello there. Welcome to the research facility. Ah. Hello. Good morning. My name is Tim Ottman, and I'm going to start working here today. Oh, you're the new part-timer. My name's Rita. Nice to meet you. I'll call the director. You can wait over there. Thank you. Pika! Pika, pika! Pika! Mm -hmm. See that? She really likes me. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Pika Pika! <laughs> this facility must have some clues about Harry. 
So stay sharp and search for the vial. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's all right. It's nice to meet you, Director. Please call me Dorothy. It's nice to meet you, too. You'll be providing support for our staff while you're with us. This is Fridge. He'll tell you more about your duties. Yeah, that's me. Good to have you here. <laughs> oh, hey there, Pikachu. <laughs> Welcome, little buddy. <laughs> off. I'm Tim Ottman. Nice to meet you. Glad you're here. Guy before you quit, so we've been in a pickle ever since. Such a shame. He was doing so well, too. Anyway, I'll leave the rest to you, Fridge. I have some errands to run. Cool. I'll take it from here. Well, good luck, Tim. Thanks. Well, let's head on in. We've got some pretty unique people working here. <laughs> but don't sweat it, we're all cool. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, I'd say he's got plenty of unique going on himself. Please, come on in. Welcome, both of you, to my laboratory. This here's my partner, Garboder. So, right now I'm doing research on its ecology to assist in garbage disposal. Garboder's pretty awesome. Here, see for yourself. <laughs> Look! What are you doing, Fridge? The gas came all the way over here! Oh, hey Nina, you're here. I just wanted to show Tim how the garbage just disappears. In exchange for a nice cloud of poison gas, you shouldn't show it off so much. Especially since we can't go to the courtyard for fresh air. Oh, no way. Wallace is up to his usual antics again? Yeah, what else is new? The passcode's been changed. Even I'm stumped by his latest hijinks. You're Tim, right? Things are a bit of a mess right now, but don't worry, I'm here to help you out. Uh, <laughs> It's very nice to meet you. What in the world is going on? Hmm. It doesn't look like that's the same shape. Hmm. Listen, I've been having dreams about that accident. I could swear this vial played a part somehow. Uh, can't remember. So why do you think I can't do the moves all those other Pokémon can do, huh? Oh, come on. You want me to plug myself into a wall socket? Well, I suppose if you're willing to pay for the electricity, I can give it a try. It worked! Whoa... This is amazing. Yeah. Wonder what this room is for. Don't know. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello there. Is this your room? We just started working at this laboratory today. Nice meeting you. Roto, Roto. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I see now. Oh. Well, hello. Oh, sorry we barged in. I'm Tim. Today's my first day here at work. Oh, that's right. I heard you be coming. I'm Carlos. And this here is my partner, Rotom. Roto, Roto, Roto. Nice to meet you both. What kind of research are you doing, Carlos? Ah, I'm researching energy. Building a motor like this one. An efficient motor that can take a tiny amount of power and turn it into much more. For real? Is it possible? Yes. If we can figure out how to borrow some of Rotom's energy. I hope you can learn how to do that. Is this the prototype? <laughs> oh, that one? Um, actually, it really should work, in theory. Is there a problem with it? Well, Tim... I'll let you see for yourself. Rotom, go ahead and get into this motor. Uh, 
now. Huh? As you can see here, this Pokemon doesn't want to listen to anything I say. How do you manage to get any research done at all? I see you figured out the passcode. Yeah. I thought it'd be beyond you, but you've passed the test. I'll give you that much credit. So, welcome to my laboratory. Who's this weirdo? You must be Wallace. It's nice to meet you. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Great. I'll do that. However, since I'm researching Pokémon cells... <laughs> I'd prefer it if your healthy-looking Pikachu helps me out with something. Do what? Do you think he would be willing to soak in a tank for about a month or so? <laughs> oh, no way. Um, I think that's a little... I'm just joking. Not funny at all! Nina has been busy doing research on how to make medicine with the help of Shuckle. It seems that she's mixing liquid with two different berries to make the medicine. So we want to make an orange-colored medicine now. How will we do that? Great. Let's start the experiment. We did it! It's orange! But how does it smell? I would drink something that smells like that. The experiment is a success. Shook, 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 shook. Tim, this is amazing. <laughs> What's up? Did the experiment work? It did. All thanks to Tim. Well, congratulations. Dorothy, you're back. Oh, who's this with you? Hi. This is Amelia from GNN. Nice to meet you. I'm Amelia Christie, and I'm here to prepare for the shoot. The shoot? That's right. There's going to be a TV crew here tomorrow. TV? This is the first I've heard of it. Yes. I wanted them to see our facility as it is on a typical day. Amelia, this is Carlos, and Nina, and... Oh! It's nice to see you again. You're Tim... Right! Uh, please just call me Tim. I hope that your leg is healing up okay, Amelia. Uh, yes. Fine. It's nice to see you again, too, Pikachu. <laughs> oh, Dorothy, hold on. Listen to this one. Wallace did it again. Not again. What is it this time? Nina, we're in front of guests here. That's all right. I definitely want to hear this story. Oh, it's nothing. Really. <laughs> there you have it. Our facility on a typical day. This is it, Pikachu. Ah, compare the two. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's the same as the one we found in the cave. Good job. We did it. Now we know whoever used this vial works in this facility. Yeah. has been found. Uh, it could have been anyone there using that type of vial. Good point. Let's investigate tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm? Talking to yourself? Uh oh, no, it's nothing. I just started a new job today, so I'm reviewing what I've learned. Ah, yeah. You're working at PCL, right? Mr. Banker told me. Work hard and earn a lot of money. Then stop by for coffee as often as possible. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's your coffee. Oh, great. Yeah, thanks, Ludicolo. Yeah, thank you. Mm. 
This hi-hat blend is as delicious as ever. Believe it or not, Pablo really knows what he's doing. Why believe it or not? I meant it as a compliment. In order to really draw out the best flavors, you have to be hyper-aware of the temperature. And the, and humidity, the humidity on the day, on the you, day roast, you roast, so you adjust to roast time. Uh, how did you know that? You always talk about coffee, so I guess I learned from you. It sure takes a lot of technique. <laughs> exactly. That's my point. This Pablo's got some skills. <laughs> yes, he does. Harry's son, huh? This could cause complications. Get him out of the facility as soon as you can. So, do you think I look all right? Don't worry, you look great. Thank you. Oh, Tim's working in the courtyard too. Yeah, he's feeding the Trevenant. <laughs> it really seems to love it, huh? <laughs> Hey, you guys! Smile for the camera! Oh, Mako, stop. This has nothing to do with our story. Watch out! What's wrong, Trevenant? Everyone, in here, quick! Come on, give me your hands. Okay. Hey, wait for me! You can't abandon your partner! Ah! Oh! Oh! That was a close one. Oh. Seems like it's calmed down a bit. Let's take a look. All right. Let's take a quick peek. Trevenant. Is it okay? This is terrible. What's happened here? Trevenant, are you okay? Trevenant! Hey, what did you do to Trevenant? Uh, well, we were feeding it when suddenly... Wait, I could have sworn there were some leftovers. I thought maybe you could help. But obviously, amateurs can't be trusted. Now go on, get out of here. Come on, Wallace. Don't overreact. She's right. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Yes, but this is beyond bad. Our experiments are ruined. W well... Tim! It was like that Glalie from the other day. I know, but how do we explain that to everyone? Hmm... Listen, it's not Tim's fault. There's no way he'd ever do harm to a Pokémon. Amelia's right, there's no way. Yeah. It's admirable you want to stick up for your friend. Got evidence to support it? Not really, but... Tim's not like that. This isn't getting us anywhere. Sorry, Tim. Hey, wait a second! Mako had the camera out! Maybe she caught something! Oh, yeah. So, Mako, hmm? you were shooting the courtyard, right? Yeah, of course! Maybe she caught something on camera! Good idea, Tim! So you're saying I may have just saved the day? I am pretty awesome! Right. Let's hurry and check the footage. Yeah. Okay. There could be evidence on this footage that proves your innocence, Tim. So watch it carefully. Got it. Uh, it really there must be something. It, huh? Hey, you guys. Tim must have provoked Trevenant in some way, oh, making it angry. Stop. This has nothing to do with our story. <laughs> What's wrong, Trevenant? Everyone, in here, quick! See? There are leftovers. Okay. What of it? Who'd run off and leave their partner? I just trusted you could take care of yourself, Pikachu. Oh, is that so? Hey! Maybe at times like this, you can run on all fours. I prefer to run this way, thank you very much. close one. We don't have enough evidence to prove your innocence yet. So let's watch it one more time. It seemed to enjoy eating it. It always has an appetite like that, too. Smile for the camera! Oh, Mako, stop. This has nothing to do with our story. Oh. Looking back at it now, that was a close call. I'm glad we made it out safe. Come on, give me your hand. Look, a black shadow took the leftovers. Was it a Pokemon? Is there a Pokemon of that color in this facility? And why would it take off with the leftovers? 
Now that I think about it, Trevenant went berserk right after it ate its lunch. Yeah, so what? Maybe it was something it ate that caused it to be upset. As far as I can tell from watching the video, Tim didn't do anything wrong. He's innocent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dorothy. Tim, we've got to catch this mysterious Pokémon. Having said that, there's an awful lot we still don't know. Hey, Rita! I, 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 wait, wait a second! I, You're so cute! I just love Pikachu so much! I would say that, without a doubt, the mysterious Pokémon we're looking for has been living here since way before the facility was rebuilt. It's likely the cause for the ghost stories. Tim? Do you know which Pokémon it is? Think card now. Yeah, you're right. The room that it's in does get a lot colder. This ghost story sounds a lot like Gengar. One more thing. How do you think it was able to go and steal Trevenant's lunch? Any insight? Yes! It was hiding out the whole time in Trevenant's shadow. And so what we saw in the video was its hand. It just reached its hand out from the shadow. Tim, you're a great sleuth. Now we know the mysterious Pokémon is Gengar. Mr. Gengar! Come out, come out, wherever you are! King! Oh, there you are! We've got you now, so you might as well give up! Gengar! We Gengar! Went right through! Now, Gengar, come to the light! Gengar! Watch out! It's using Confuse Ray! Gengar! Gengar! <laughs> Great save, Tim. It was almost game over <laughs> for me. But still, Gengar has managed to get away from us once again. Our big challenge now is to figure out how to stop it from doing that. Who would have thought that Gengar would escape like that? Is there no way to catch that thing? Uh. Gengar! It's here! You're not getting away this time! Now, Pikachu! Try this on for size! We did it! Yep, no big deal. Let's see what it has to say. Gengar's partner is the mastermind. We need to find out who that is. I'm thinking one of the researchers, possibly. So it's our job then to go and rip off their disguise. First things first. We have to get Gengar to tell us what it knows. Gengar! Is it this one? Ooh. So that's how it works. Ooh. This is like some kind of secret passageway. I wonder where it leads to. Well, let's find out. Yeah, let's go. This sure is a creepy place. Yeah. Oh, there's a door. See if it opens. Okay.
Here we go. Doesn't look like anyone's here. So is this the room that Gengar was guarding? I wonder what this is. Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with why Trevenant went berserk. Let's check it out. Yeah. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Hmm. The research log. The vial. Who could run experiments at that time? <laughs> A bolt of brilliance! I know the culprit! Listen, I'm glad you all came. Why would you gather us here like this? Yeah, I'm pretty busy right now, you know? Oh, come off it. You were in the middle of a nap. Uh, <laughs> Everyone, quiet, please. Thank you. I believe I've solved the Trevenant Rampage case. Please. We already know the problem was caused by Gengar. Wrong. That whole thing was planned by someone else. And... the culprit is? You tell him, Tim. Yeah. Carlos, it's you. What? There's no way I planned this thing. You're way off base. This is all Gengar's doing. <laughs> nice try. Blame the innocent one. Show him the proof, Tim. Go on. That's right. Carlos. Take a look at this. Yes, so? I have no idea what that is. It's leftovers from Trevenant's meal. Hold on a sec. Gengar took off with those. That is true. And they were hidden in the secret underground lab. Wait, underground? Whoa, sick! This reminds me of a spy movie. A secret laboratory? I had no idea. Okay. Tell us what you learned from the leftovers, Tim. Well, they were spiked with a substance that causes Pokémon to go berserk. I found evidence. This was down in the basement. It makes Pokémon go berserk? That's why Trevenant became enraged? Hold on! Even if this substance is the cause, you have no proof that I'm the one who created it. Don't be so sure. Go on. You've got this. Now show them what we've got. Take a look at this. According to this research log, there was an experiment being performed on June 19th at 12.05. Big deal. So what's your point? I'm getting to that. At the time, Dorothy was out of the facility. Wallace was in Building B. Both Fridge and Nina were busy working in their lab. The only person unaccounted for happens to be you. W hold on a minute there. Let me think. Oh, I remember. I went out for my afternoon walk. That explains exactly where I was. Man, he really doesn't know when to give up. Tim, let's finish this. Tell him what we know. <laughs> That's right. Let's see how he squirms out of this one. Are you sure about that? Surveillance shows you enter the library and never leave. So how could your walk take place in the library? I'll answer that one. It can't. Therefore, the one who was in the secret lab, it was you. I... Uh, uh. Well, I suppose there's nothing more I can say. But Carlos, why would you do that? Because this kid got in my way. He's Harry Goodman's son. Harry Goodman's son? Tim Goodman is my real name. Sorry I lied to you. My dad was in an accident two months ago, and it happened right around here. I followed the clues to this place. Carlos knows. Don't you? Tell us what happened. All right. He knew too much. I had someone tamper with his car as a warning. But I swear, I never expected him to go missing in an accident. 
You're the one who's responsible. <clears throat> Where's my dad? Tell me! <sighs> Come on, say something! It's because of you my dad Calm is- Calm down, Tim! I know you want answers, but- But what? He won't be able to escape anyway. We should leave the rest to the police. <clears throat> yeah, you're right, Pikachu. We'll take this man into custody. The police will be handling the matter from here on out. Thank you very much. Carlos, I expected more. <clears throat> So, you're the Tim I've been hearing so much about. Baker mentioned you more than a few times. Sorry I investigated this on my own. Uh, no need to apologize. If we had made more progress on our own, it would have been easier for you to sit by. I'm just happy you're safe. Thanks. Anyway, do you think you could let me know what you find out? From Carlos's interrogation? Yeah, I give you my word. I'll see you. And I'll see you too, Pikachu. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I think? Baker already knows, too, about our investigation. That's all right. It's best to be honest about it all. Yeah. I received word from the inspector. Appears it wasn't a part-time job after all. You went there to investigate. Hmm. Even after I told you to stay out of trouble, you chose not to listen to me. I'm sorry. There was just something I needed to find out. I know exactly how you feel. Believe me. But no good can come of it if you're harmed. I'm just glad nothing happened to you. I understand. So, from now on, I'd like you to let me know before you go rushing off to investigate something. What? No point in telling you to stop. That sure doesn't seem to work. And I'll admit that you do have some talent. I'd rather know what you're up to instead of having you run around in secret. Not to mention, I can help you. Wow. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. <laughs> Congrats, Tim. Congratulations to you. Thanks. I heard from the inspector that you really saved the day at PCL. Hope it wasn't too dangerous. It wasn't. So... You really do take after Harry. The boss said so, too. Pikachu! Are you eating the sweets again? Oh well... I suppose it's okay this time. Oh, good. In that case... Hold on! That's way too many! How many times do I have to tell you? Those sweets are meant for the clients! You said it was okay for me to have some! Oh, they're so tasty, though! I wonder how the interrogation is going. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure Holiday is doing his best. I wish I could find Dad. And give Mom some peace of mind. I know. <clears throat> Once they're done with the interrogation, I'm sure we'll have some more news. I can't wait. Yeah. And we've still got some work to do. You know, we make a pretty good team. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? I wonder if my dad is out there somewhere in this city. Yeah, me too. Harry. 
Where could you possibly have disappeared to? I wonder how the interrogation is going. Good question. But, they say no news is good news. So may as well chill out. Okay. You really worry too much. Lighten up. We came out here to clear our heads. Now you're starting to stress me out. Just look at all these bird Pokémon. Their heads are filled with nothing. <coughs> ah! <coughs> what are you doing? I wasn't talking about you! Ow, Fletchling! You have a temper almost as bad as Amanda's. Pikachu, there's something in its mouth. Let's see. What is it? <laughs> it looks like it could be a letter. Thank you. From Mr. Baker. There's news he needs to discuss with us. It's about time. Let's get back to the office. Come on. Yeah. Well, I'll see you around. Me and my breadcrumbs have got somewhere to be. Uh Hey, 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 knock it off, hey! I've got to go, right? No more bread for you today. <laughs> Stop it! Silcor! Oh, well, hello there, Axie. I forgot. You love these donuts, don't you? Here you go. Enjoy. Excel! Come on, hurry up! <clears throat> My legs are shorter than yours, you know! <sighs> Mr. Baker, Inspector Holliday. Hey, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. We just finished with our interrogation of Carlos and wanted to fill you in. I know you're both anxious to hear. <clears throat> yeah, ain't that the truth? Yeah, we'll be one step closer. That's right, so let's listen up. Axie! Come on! Over here! Yeah, I guess not. My brilliant plan failed. Ah! Foiled again! Inspector, you know, we were thinking about tracking down Dr. Walls. Oh, well, that would be a good start. In fact, we just found out where he's living. It seems that he moved to Capucci Island. Capucci Island? Yeah. I planned on telling you about that as soon as it was confirmed. You know, maybe you should go over there so you and Walls can have a chat. You're sure? Of course. I think we can trust you. Awesome. Thank you, Inspector. See what you can find out. One of my men, Brad McMaster, is on the island for another assignment. If anything comes up, he can help you. Great. I'll head over right now. Whoa, not so fast. To get to Kabuchi Island, there's only one ferry a day. Well, if that's the case, I know just the person to help out. I have a very bad feeling about this. Hey, Amanda! Yes, sir. Here we go. I can take you to the island if you'd like. Huh? Yeah, I have a license to drive a boat. Really? Yes, please. Don't worry, it'll be a smooth ride. <sighs> what did I do to deserve Shh. this? Be rude, Pikachu. Anyone but Amanda. Stop being so dramatic. It was really nice of her to offer. Easy for you to say, because you don't know what you're getting into. <sighs> At least someone's happy today. What's with Ludicolo? Yeah, I don't know. Seems happier than usual, right? The Pokémon Carnival? What is that? A carnival? Whoa, that was a good guess. Yeah, the Pokemon Carnival. Ludicolo and I are really pumped. So, what is it? Ah, I thought you knew about it. Well, the Pokemon Carnival is the biggest festival in Rhyme City. People and Pokemon from all over the world come to it, and things can really heat up. The parade at the end is the best part. Here, we'll give you a little preview. 
Somehow that performance doesn't quite sell it for me. Doesn't this feel fantastic? This boat has 400 horsepower, yeah, you know? I can feel that. This is what I was worried about. Come on, Tim. Can't you tell her to slow it down? Pika, Pika! It sounds like Pikachu's having a good time. You know what, Amanda? Maybe you could slow this down a little bit? What do you mean? You want to get to the island quickly, don't you? Not a problem. Let's go! This is such a lovely place. I think I just need to feel solid ground. Pikachu, how are you doing? Actually, I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> now, let's go find Wall's home and gather testimony in town. <sighs> I still feel nauseous. <sighs> Come on, let's go! What? Pikachu, hold on a minute! You helped a lot. Thank you so much. Something smells like flowers. Hi there. Do you like the perfume? I'm so sorry. Stop, Pikachu. It's all right. Spritzy makes my perfume. Spritz! Spritz, spritz! And the scent really is one of a kind. So, are you here as a tourist? No. I'm looking for someone. His name is Dr. Walls. Do you know him? I sure do. Dr. Walls' home happens to be right down this path. Thank you so much. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. My name is Louise. <laughs> Something's wrong with that Pokémon. No, oh, I think it's injured. Hey! Are you all right? We need to get it some help. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? What? Get away from Ducklet! <laughs> Aw, you poor thing. This could sting just a little. There you go. All better. Another one injured. That's really weird. You saved it. I guess you live on this island? I'm Tim, and this is... Pikachu. Nice to meet you. Hey, my name's Milo. I'm so glad you were here to help. Well, that's a Pokémon Ranger's job, you know. Really? What's that? You don't know? Pokémon Rangers help Pokémon, and we protect nature. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, but I'm just an apprentice for now. An apprentice? So, Milo... We're looking for a man named Dr. Walls. Why are you looking for him? Don't tell me you're with those other guys, are you? Uh, what other guys? Oh, uh, never mind that. I'll take you to him. This way. <clears throat> this is where Dr. Walls lives. Oh, maybe he has a guest. Dr. Walls! <sighs> That's an impressive Pokémon. Yeah. Hey, you look strong. What's wrong with you? Pikachu, let's get going. Showing off its electricity trying to impress us. Excuse me. What? Stop pulling so hard! You're hurting me! Let go of no. Dr. Walls! It's all right, calm down. I'm a police officer, son, and this man has done something very wrong. That must be him! That's Holiday's man! Move aside. I, I won't! He didn't do anything <clears throat> wrong! I am very sorry. I'm afraid he has you fooled. I have testimony from a reliable source that this man is often seen at the lake. Not to mention he has a previous record. Therefore, he's got to be the culprit. You're wrong! 
Dr. Walsis! Milo, please, no more. I don't want you to worry about me. See that? Practically a confession. Tell him! It's not true! Excuse me, sir. You can't say he's guilty based on that. What? I'd appreciate amateurs staying out of this. I'm not an amateur. Officer, I'm a detective. Right on. A detective? Well, now that's a different story. Then I insist that you stay out of official police business. So, forcing your opinion on someone without evidence is police business? Stay out of it. If I find proof that he isn't the culprit, will you change your mind? You can do as you please, but I'm taking walls with me on the next ferry off of this island. What's with this attitude? Lighten up! Before we can get any information out of walls, we need to solve this case. First off, we need to get to the lake. The bridge may be broken, but I'll bet you there's another way. Huh? What is that? This looks really bad. It's still alive, right? So it's you again. What? Pull yourself together, buddy. This happens to you all the time. You need to be more careful. There. All better. But it still doesn't look so good. Nah. Fee bass just look like that. It's their natural state. Is that so? Phoebe Phoebe! I suppose it looks healthy enough. It's dangerous out there with all this fog, so you should really stay put. Phoebe 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 It seems to be anxious about something. You're right. Let's see what it has to say. Yeah. Coffee is a complex topic, Tim. But I'll share what I know with you. Detective Coffee Note Number 8. You know, many say to drink coffee while it's hot, but a good coffee is delicious even when it's cold. Sure this is the right way? I think so. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'll solve the puzzles and breeze through this maze. Pikachu, look underneath you! Huh? What? Ring -ring -ring -ring! <laughs> Pikachu, get out of there! Here we go! Whew. That was a close one. Thanks for that, Tim. I can't see anything through all of this fog. It makes it a little difficult to investigate. <laughs> Polywag, are you okay? That's good. Doesn't look like they're injured at all. Good for them, but what about me? Uh, sorry, Pikachu. But where did they come flying from? I don't know. From somewhere over there. Hey, Tim! Look at that! Masquerine! Hold on. Are Masquerine causing the fog? It sure seems like it, but why? Hey! Masquerade! What's going on here? You gotta stop the fog! What do you mean, no? Is something out there? Seems like they're worried about outsiders. What should we do? Wow, look at that! Thanks for helping, Feebas! Pokemon were getting hurt because Crawdon attacked them. Now, why would Crawdon do something like that? I get it! 
Crawdaunce is chasing away anyone who dares to get close to the lake. Obviously, it's being territorial. For some reason, this Crawdon thinks the lake is its turf. But it's not a Pokémon that's normally seen around here. So the question is, how did it get to the lake? Are there any clues we can look at? You know what? The claw marks on the inside of the box are just like the marks on the trees. Which tells me that someone put Crawdon into that box and then brought it to the lake. <laughs> I wonder what they're up to. Yeah, those are large pieces of wood. Oh, I know. They're going to fix the bridge. But that doesn't explain why they're carrying a flag. Oh, watch where you're going. What's its deal? They're just really focused on their work. So, Dr. Walls is behind all of this? You know I can't divulge sensitive information like that. Well, hi. Still investigating, are we? It's no use. I've got this case practically closed. Don't be so sure. There are still a lot of things to look into. You're investigating the case too? Anything turn up? Yes. There are quite a few things. Oh. Well, good luck, Tim. Spritz! 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Catch a cold? Main! Main act! <laughs> you know what? I think it's Spritzy scent. It's too strong. It's making you sneeze. Heck, mean it. I guess having a sensitive nose isn't always good. See you around, sneezy pants. Spritz, Spritz. <laughs> What's going on with you, Manetric? <laughs> All right, Maynetric, you know what to do, don't you? No! Not my hat! Uh, you were supposed to fetch! Well, look who it is. Your timing is perfect. It seems Dr. Walls is indeed the culprit. Uh, they say there's conclusive evidence. Evidence that we pulled out of the lake. Is that... Yes. It's the symbol for Dr. Wall's home. This proves beyond a doubt that he brought the Crawdon to the lake. And it's all I needed to see. But why, Tim? Time to accept the truth, Amanda. It's too soon to give up. Let's keep investigating. If we're hoping to solve this, we'll need all the clues gathered by the police. Let's go have a look. Timber, what's wrong? They say their goal is up ahead. You mean past Crawdont? If we search that area, I'll bet we'd find some evidence. Wait! Milo! <laughs> Oh no! Feebas! Are you alright? Fee... Fee... Ah! What? What's happening? Peepass, that was amazing! <laughs> wow, that Feebass. Yep, Feebass evolved into Milotic. The missing delivery. The ring-shaped mark. The only one who could have done those things in that amount of time. What are you mm. thinking, Pikachu? Could it be? <gasps> the Bolt of Brilliance! I know the culprit!
Here they come. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Thank you all for coming here. Tim, I know what you're gonna tell us. You figured out who the culprit is. Hmm. <laughs> we already know who the culprit is. All evidence points to Dr. Walls. <sighs> I'll tell you what I discovered. The one who had Crodonk carried to the lake is... Go on. Tell him, Tim. You, Louise, you're the culprit. That's just a bunch of nonsense. Is this your idea of a joke? Do you have any proof? Of course we do. Show her, Tim. Proof? Right here is the proof. What kind of proof is that? It's just the flag for timber transport. Yes, that's true. The culprit used this flag and had timber carry the box with Crawdont inside. Hmm. If that's the case, then what about this sticker? If your deductions are correct, then the box would have a ring-shaped mark on it, am I right? Guess what? No such mark has been found. Obviously he's right, and you're completely wrong. He's wrong. The sticker was a trick just to frame Dr. Walls. A trick? As a matter of fact, a ring-shaped sticker doesn't exist. It never has. It was created by her. She used the sticker from Dr. Wall's house and combined it with something she made. Right on, Tim. You tell him. We found this down at the lake. It's a piece of a wooden box. You can see there's a shape that's been painted on it with some white paint. Huh? What is that shape? Well, so when we fit the white parts together, it recreates this symbol. Now, if I put this sticker on top... It's the ring-shaped mark! That's right. Timber thought the mark was new, and they simply followed the flag that they saw had the same mark on it. Could it be? Hard to comprehend. How could someone as savvy as myself fall into a trap? And when the boxes came to the dock, you were there helping the Chief of Timber Transport, weren't you, Louise? Easy, right? Because all you had to do was change the stickers. Of course, while no one was looking. <laughs> You're right, I could have done that. But, how could I possibly have had the time to guide the timber all the way to the lake? Oh yeah, that's the easy part. The chief said while you were sticking marks on the boxes, he had to return to his office and get something that he forgot. True, but he was only gone for a few minutes. Not nearly enough time for me to go to the lake and back. Wrong. All you needed was a few minutes. A sufficient amount of time for you to send a signal out, right? What are you talking about? Who would I be signaling to? Now that's easy. There's only one possibility. You signal to Spritzy. Spritz, Spritz? What? Spritzy? That's right. And here's the proof. Oh, Maynetra, the flag makes you sneeze? That's because Spritzy's scent has soaked into this flag, which means the culprit used Spritzy to guide the timber. Dr. Walls is innocent? I have a headache. So, Louise, all you had to do was signal Spritzy. There was plenty of time while the Chief wasn't looking. And that means your alibi doesn't hold up. <coughs> Wait a minute. Why would she want to do something like that? For the tourist resort she wants to build. Wasn't it? You needed to get the land for it. So you framed Dr. Walls, didn't you? Yes, that's right. Why is that so wrong? Building that resort is my dream. I did what I had to in order for it to succeed. How could you do that? You caused trouble for the Pokémon and Dr. Walls! Calm down. It's all right, Milo. The only person you thought about was yourself. That's sad. You'll soon regret that. It's over now, Louise. Come with me.
<laughs> too bad. She just got a little too carried away. Lesson learned. Walls was innocent after all. So now would be a good time to ask him about R. Dr. Walls, I was wondering if you could tell Pikachu and me about R. Yes, of course I can. It's the least I can do for clearing my name. Hmm, you know what? Come to think about it, this makes you the second person to ask me about R. Yeah? I believe it was about two months ago. A man asked me the same thing. And you know, I recall he had a Pikachu with him too, just like you. No way! That must have been my father. I'm trying to find him. That's why I came to ask what you know about R. Mm. I can tell that this means a lot. All right, I'll tell you everything I know. I just had that dream again. But somehow it felt different from before. Are you okay, Pikachu? Were you having a bad dream? Maybe he just doesn't like boats. I hope I haven't scared him. Nah, takes more than your driving to scare me. Maybe I'm just getting old. Let's move it, Tim! Yeah, A detective's gotta be quick on his feet! Ah! Oh, there you are! Mako, Amelia, what are you doing here? Well, we happen to be in your neighborhood, so we stopped to say hi. We're here scouting for our next shoot. The Pokémon Carnival, of course. We just heard about a carnival. That's what Pablo was excited about. Hi! Let me guess. Tim, right? Yeah. Oh, this is Mr. Clifford, our boss. Nice to meet you. Roger Clifford. Oh, nice to meet you too. These two won't stop talking about you. They say you're a great detective. Okay, we're gonna head out. Oh, already? Yeah, another investigation. All right, where are you going? To find Park. That park was closed due to an accident. I heard about that. Wow, what a strange coincidence. We covered it. That accident was a big scoop. What? You and Amelia? Seriously? That's right. We were lucky, weren't we, Amelia? Yeah. Hey, this could be useful. Right, Tim? Yeah. Amelia, do you think we could take a look at the video you shot? I don't know. Is it okay, Mr. Clifford? Of course it is. However, today we're actually pretty busy. How about tomorrow? Great, thank you. Perfect. Take care. See you tomorrow at GNN. Yes, sir. Well, he sure was a nice guy. Certainly a big difference from that Brad guy, if you ask me. Get over that, Pikachu. Anyway, the video has to wait until tomorrow, so let's check out the scene for ourselves. Yeah, let's go. Looks completely abandoned. Yeah, it sure does. Yep. <sighs> hmm. Hey, what's that? Is 
Is that a spoon? Now, why in the world? Cause Whoa! Uh. Jeez, <laughs> you scared me. Anyway, we're here to investigate an accident that happened here a while back. Know anything about that? No. Cause Oh, you'll call some Pokémon that can tell us stuff? That's so great! You're nicer than you look, you know? Pose There you are. They must have been hiding from us. Well, should we interview the witnesses? <laughs> Baneri should be up ahead somewhere. Yeah, but the rain is really starting to come down. I hope it doesn't get any worse. <laughs> you spoke too soon! Come on, let's go! Yeah. What are these gashes from? I know Charizard went on a rampage in the main square. But why are there marks here? Hmm. What's wrong? How come you're looking at me like that? Huh? Get off of me, Joltek! You're not getting any electricity out of me! Now. Let's connect the wire so that Heliolus can send a current to the Ferris wheel. Heliolus, we're counting on you. Helia! Helia! <sighs> it's moving. All right, it worked. Yeah. Hmm? Oh no, why'd it stop? It looks like it's completely fried. Yeah. What should we do, Pikachu? Baneer is still... <sighs> we gotta figure out how to get up there. We could use the cannon. And Loudred. All we need is some kind of ammo. Oh! A bolt of brilliance! Huh? What do you think you're doing? That's my line. You have a good idea? Yes. Hear me out. Seriously? Shooting me out of a cannon is what you call a brilliant idea? <laughs> mm, you look good. That's not the point. <sighs> How in the world I let him talk me into this? All right, are you ready? Tim, adjust the angle. Loud red, shout as loud as you can at my signal. No! Up, up. Farther. No, too far. Yes, yes, that's good. No! No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Pikachu! Yeah, I'm safe. Don't worry. Fun. <sighs> Baneri, are you all right? Bunny, 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 Bunny. Good. Now, climb onto my back and hold on tight. Bunny. Yo, Tim, here we go. You just get ready to catch. <laughs> 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 Good catch. I knew I could count on you, Tim. Love me that much. Bunny, bunny. Huh? That's a locket. Hey, that's my mom! Your mother? Then this must be you. Yeah, that was taken when I was a kid. 
But why did Baniri have this? Bunny? We have a lot of new info. I'd call this a worthwhile trip. It seems Pikachu has indeed lost his memory. But he nonetheless appears to be keeping his promise to me. Well, one thing we know for sure is the locket belongs to Harry. So Harry must have been investigating the accident at Fine Park. Yeah. Maybe my dad saw a connection between the accident and these Pokemon cases. The accident happened over a year ago. Do we know if R was in use back then, Holiday? I suppose it could have been. So maybe the Pokemon went berserk? Because someone gave them R? Could that really be a possibility? We'll check it out tomorrow. We're going to GNN to see the footage. All right. I'll look into the case again, once I get back to the station. Great, thank you. You'll have to be very careful, Tim. Fine Park is very close to where Harry had his accident, remember? I will, sir. We'll be sure to watch our backs. And hopefully that video will shed some light on who's responsible. Okay. Dad gave this locket to Bunieri. That means it was important. And he was being targeted by someone with a Skorupi. Pikachu. That's who's responsible for my dad's disappearance. But who'd do such Tim, a- Tim, you need to calm down for now. We won't find any answers tonight. But still- We should get more information tomorrow when we go to GNN, okay? But for now, try to put it out of your head. Yeah. I guess you're right. You should get some sleep. A good detective also needs his rest, you know. I'll try to. Good night, Pikachu. Tim, hello! Oh, Mako. Amelia. Good to see you again. I sure hope we can help you out. Thank you for having us here. Sure. No problem at all. You know, would it be alright if we stopped by the studio real quick? Mr. Clifford would like to say hi. Of course. Let's go. <laughs> So, let's go see Mr. Clifford. 23rd floor, right? Yeah. He said he'd be recording that music show. Yanma cameras are very popular among our viewers. Keep up the good work, Roger. This show could really use your ideas. That's really nice to hear. I hope I live up to your expectations. Mr. Clifford! Ah, good to see you again. Here he is, the young man I was telling you about. Oh, Tim Goodman, the detective, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Ethan Graham. He's the president of GNN. And I've been told that you've been a really big help to my staff members here. And I assume this little guy must be your assistant. He sure looks official with that hat on. <laughs> Actually, Tim is more the assistant here. So anyway, you came here to look at the videos? That's right, the videos. I'll go get him. Be right back. Thank you. I hope it's not a problem. No, it's nothing. You've really helped us getting some of our scoops lately. It's only fair we return the favor. Absolutely. How about a tour of the studio while we wait for Mako to return? I'd love it. Thank you. Let's check out the studio while we wait for Mako to get back.
Hey, you're the new guy, right? You gotten used to your job? Uh, no, I'm not- Oh, you don't have to be nervous around me. Just ignore the fact that I'm a celebrity. Um, well, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. What?! No way! You don't know the team of Max and Chathod? Well, sorry, I've never heard of you. I've never heard of you. I've never heard of you. Great. There's really no need to rub it in, Chatov. Wow, that was my voice. Of course. Unbelievable. You really don't know who we are, do you? He's not as famous as he thinks he is. Mm. Ah! You must know this. Our intro. Max and Chatot, it's Max and Chatot. We're the coolest, you got to admit it. Admit it! Admit it! Mm, well... Um, I guess you haven't seen it. Admit it! Now that I see it, you know, I might have seen this act on one of those late night shopping channels. Oh, I think I saw you on a commercial. Yeah? Right, I knew it! <laughs> Here, let me give you my autograph. Uh, okay. There you are. You'll be the envy of your friends. Yeah, thank you, I guess. Yang Yang! Yang Yang! Do you think they're filming something? Wow. That's gotta take some skill. Interested in the Yanma cameras? Huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. My name's Keith. I'm the assistant director here, but mostly I run errands. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Tim. Right, I heard about you. Well, Tim, what do you think? The Yanma can fly around and let us film any scene at any angle. This filming style is unique to our studio. Make sure you get a good shot of me. Best looking Pikachu ever! What an awesome idea. Mr. Clifford's idea. You there! <laughs> You're part of the staff here, right? Have you seen my darling Perugly? Uh... No, I haven't. Sorry. I'm afraid it's gotten lost. My poor baby. I'm so worried. Uh... Uh... Is that really all you can say? Don't stand there. Uh... Go look for it. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Some people are so insensitive. And what about you? Why are you just standing around doing nothing? Get out of my way! Yeesh. That's one cranky old lady. Hi, Hero. Hi. How are you, Amelia? Hmm. So, is this young guy your boyfriend? Huh? No, it's nothing like that. This is my friend Tim, and we're just giving him a tour of the studio. Oh, so this is who you and Mako keep talking about. Nice to meet you. I'm Hiro. Nice to meet you, too. Hiro's the director of Maximum Music. That's true. But I'd be completely lost if it wasn't for my partner here. Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! That's Hoot Hoot. It's our timekeeper. It's phenomenal at keeping track of time. We couldn't run this place without it. Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! Must be really smart. Hey! I'm all ready to go over here! What's the holdup? Oh, I forgot. Uh, excuse me, Hero. Is Tim over there with you? Yep. Would you mind letting him take a look at the Yanma cameras? It shouldn't take too much of your time. Sure, no problem at all. Thanks, Hero. I appreciate it. Come on, over here. Thank you. Tim! Are you ready to go? You know I've been waiting for you, right? I know exactly how I'm supposed to move. You should take a look. The atmosphere of the scene can change depending on how you film it. Decide on what you want, and then tell Yanma. All right, let's start the shoot. I'm the great detective Pikachu. I'm using my brilliant mind to trail a suspect. Hm? Over there. That was a close one. Hmm? What's that? Uh. It 
It's all making sense. I've got it now. Yeah! A bolt of brilliance! Mm, so smart. I'm almost jealous of my own talent. Tell me, was it a good shoot? Hmm. Where's that music coming from? Oh. Hmm. In here? Hmm. What are you doing, Pikachu? I've never heard such a beautiful sound! Pikachu, come on! What's wrong, Cricketune? Oh, Cricket! Oh! So sorry, didn't mean to intrude. No, it's alright. I was just a little surprised, that's all. I'm sorry. Are you gonna be part of today's show? Yes. My name's Karina. N nice to meet Cricket! you. Cricket! Cricket! <laughs> and this is my partner, Cricketune. Sorry, it seems to be in a bad mood. Pika! 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 <laughs> Aren't you a cute Pikachu, huh? Uh, uh don't let him fool you. Hmm? Well... Hello there, handsome. Oh, wait, it's just me. You do a pretty good job mimicking me, I'll give you that. But, if you don't mind, I'd like to see what you look like under that cloth. You found it. This is her darling Perugly? I think so. Wow, talk about slacking off. Well, we found Perugly, but why is it taking over this spot? Yeah, that means the Magnemite is... What's that? You want to fight? Pikachu, there's no time for a staring contest. I'm gonna find Keith. Hey! This isn't a staring contest! <sighs> oh, Magnemite! There you are! <laughs> Tim, come here! I found it! There it is, just as we suspected. Yep. They can finally start filming now. Why are you causing everyone so much trouble? You say it's Perugly's fault? Well, I guess that's only fair. It did steal your place after all. It probably takes after that Olga woman. What an obnoxious duo. Wow, that's a rowdy audience. Except there is no audience. I guess that's the magic of television, right? Well, we're starting. Hi, everyone, and good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Maximum Music. As always, I'm your host, Max, and... Max! <laughs> that's not right. This is Chatot. So, today Hold we on. have... Uh... We'll introduce the guests tonight, thank you very much. I'm Olga Ellison, and this is... My darling Perugly. Oh, Chatot! Our show's being taken over again! Wonderful work, Perugly, dear. Well, shall we get the show going? So, coming up next, a very special guest. A violinist you all know and love. Here she comes now. Miss Karina Mitchell! What are you doing? Clap harder! I'm clapping as hard as I can. Good evening. Great. And cut! <laughs> so, Karina, smile a little more. Don't forget that, okay? He's right, you know. You've got to be more confident, otherwise nobody will care. Now, now. Uh, she obviously doesn't get it. It's her modesty and humility that add to Karina's charm. It seems like a lot of work to be on TV.
Pikachu, calm down. Doesn't this music move you at all? You must have a heart made of stone. Yeah, yeah. You've shown the world that you're very sensitive, so you can stop now. Hey, Tim, do you think you could get your Pikachu to be a little more quiet? <laughs> See? <laughs> and cut! That was wonderful! Ah, oh, you were amazing, Karina! Thank you. <laughs> Your music is so beautiful. <laughs> it really was. Backstage, she's humble and modest, but when she performs, she's proud and confident. That duality makes me breathless. Not the performance? Hear me now! I declare that one day she and I will perform on stage together. I can't believe this. What's next? The assistant Pokémon won't make it? Uh, what are you saying, Keith? Uh, so sorry. I mixed up the dates of our schedule. Oh, my head hurts. I need a Pokémon. Any Pokémon to help us out. <laughs> hey, I know. Tim, do you think Pikachu could fill in for the day? <laughs> huh? My Pikachu? Mm-hmm. He seems to enjoy music. I think he'd be great. <laughs> All right. If you really think he could help. I can! You're really saving my life. Thank you. Mine too, thank you. Okay, I'll need Pikachu to push the cart with the violin. Right over there, to that spot with the mark on it. That's right. And Tim, would you mind standing over there for me? Sure. That's where Karina will receive her violin. You're a big help. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let's start rehearsal. Yanma, move those cameras exactly as you would for a real shoot. Yan Yan! Yan Yan! Pikachu, you ready? I've never been more ready. I've got this. <laughs> Here's the spot. So she picks it up here. Watch out! Oh, are you alright? Tim! Oh no! Yeah, I'm okay. But look! <gasps> My precious violin! This is bad. Last. I was standing right there, and I couldn't do anything. Everyone thinks the Yanma made a mistake and caused the accident. But is that really true? Let's go see what the Yanma have to say. Ta-da! Hi-ya! Hey, don't stand in front of me. Are you trying to show me up? Yeah. Now it's time for us great detectives to show them what we've got. Hmm. So there's a fake alibi, and there's Mimikyu's knock to consider, too. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Yes, of course. It all makes sense now. Both of brilliance! <laughs> Tim, the culprit is... So I figured out the truth behind the accident. What are you saying? That one of us here is the culprit? Yeah, just what do you mean the truth? We're all friends here. Can't say I appreciate the insinuation. Come on now. Let's allow Tim to speak his mind. Thank you, Hero. Here it is. I'm not one to mince words. The culprit is... Go on. You know who it is, don't you? Max, it's you. You're the one. What? Oh, come on. Is this some kind of prank? What on earth would I have to gain from busting up someone's violin? Nothing. If the violin really was broken. 
But it isn't broken. That one was a fake, wasn't it? A fake violin? Oh, what an imagination. How could you come up with a theory like that? You tell him, Tim. We checked the pieces of the violin, but there wasn't a message on them anywhere. Karina told us that her violin had a message written on it from her grandfather, which means the broken one couldn't be hers. A written message? I never noticed such a thing on it. Right. That's because it's written on the inside. It's something only Karina could know, since she watched the violin being made. Right. As a child, I played at my grandfather's workshop. He inscribed a special message for me, and it was written on the inside. You see? And now that proves the broken violin must have been a fake. But where's the real one? I think Max probably knows. But no! I haven't done anything! Listen, the whole time the violin was backstage, I was in my dressing room. How could I be in two places at once? Oh boy, this is where you take down his alibi. Actually, my guess is it was chat out in the dressing room. You probably used a trick like this. Gotcha! I'll be right out! Oh, yes, that's exactly what I heard. Admit it! Admit it! Shut up! Be quiet! You just made it seem like you were still in that room. And then you swapped the real violin that was backstage with the fake. Oh. You have to admit it! You have to admit it! I had no choice. My popularity's been sagging. I wasn't sure the show would get picked up again. And if it didn't, I knew I'd be let go. I couldn't pay back my debts. I'd be finished! Oh, Max. You were wrong. I was going to have you continue as our host. What? But... but... everything I did! I'm really sorry, Max. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to call the police. What a fool he was. In the end, he was the one who didn't believe in his own talent. Hey, you guys! I found the videos. What's wrong? Why is everyone hanging out here? So Max was the culprit all along. Mako's finally back with the video. Let's go to the sub-control room and watch it. Maybe he'll show us some clues. Okay, let's check this out. Let's play the whole thing through. Charizard's Remember, We've got keep a good your eyes on Charizard. Yeah. The daytime parade is now starting. Everyone is excited to see the popular Pokémon of the park marching by. Who better to lead than Charizard? We've been told the theme of this hey, year's parade is look at dream. that balloon! Hmm? Yaka! Yaka! Oh! Sorry, sorry. Charizard's eyes turn red. Amelia! Yeah, over here! used after Wait. all. Why is this happening? This is terrible. I don't know, but it's a great scoop! But it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here. Uh, you're right. We have no choice. That's the whole video. Exactly how we heard it from the Pokemon at Fine Park. Yeah. Did you find out anything? Maybe. There was something I noticed. Right. The scene with the balloon. Right there. Better to leave than Charizard. We've been told the theme of this year's the balloon parade... popped. Maybe it had R inside. Tim, zoom in on the balloon, and then play it backwards in slow motion. Okay. <gasps> it looks like a needle or something flew at the balloon. You're right. But where did it come from? Rewind it a little more. Stop there! 
Hey, that's Skorupi. And that man. Right. The Pokémon at Fine Park told us a man with a Skorupi was after Harry. You know, that looks almost like it could be Keith. What? Keith was there? Working with you? No, not with us. I don't think he was even working at GNN back then. Mako's right. He only joined us about six months ago. So, it was Keith who caused the incident? He's the one who went after my dad? Looks like it. And he was hiding in plain sight. Let's go capture Keith. Keith, you can't get away! <laughs> we'll just have to see about that now, won't we? Scroopy, keep them busy! <laughs> Scar! Scar! Tim, watch out for its poison sting! Scroopy! <laughs> you missed. Oh well. Help is on its way. Perfect timing, Neuburn. Now, could you blast them away? Get down low, Tim! Detective, and I hope you'll go easier on me next time. <laughs> What do you mean? Well, unless I'm mistaken, this locket should contain a clue left by Harry. He got away this time. Too bad. But you never know, there could be a clue hidden in this locket. Same dream again. Mm, Pikachu, what's up? It's way too early. Uh, tell me about it. <clears throat> I'm so sorry to wake you, but I think I'm forgetting something. A promise. Who would have thought the locket was a camera? But here they are, the pictures we developed from it. And you know what this tells me? Harry almost had it figured out. Look at that. Yep, that's most likely R. And some warehouses, too. It's too bad we can't tell where this is. You know, I've seen this building before. This is Rhyme Wharf. We'll go check it out. The culprits could still be there. 
Maybe using it as a hideout. <sighs> oh, brother. I hope he doesn't start with that whole it's too dangerous spiel. All right, take Axel Gore with you. Huh? You remember, it's my partner. I'm not going to tell you to stop investigating, Tim. But since you were attacked at the TV station, it's the very least I can do. Axel Gore is quite dependable. If you run into any trouble, send it back and I'll get help. Axel Cell! We will, Mr. Baker. Axel Gore, thank you. Cell Gore! Tim, wasn't this guy really shy before? Hope it's not a problem. We'll be on our way. Well, I guess we don't have much of a choice, do we? Come on, Excel Gore. I'll teach you the basics of detective work. Cell Cell. Mm, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. No kidding. Let's look for that area in the photo. Wow! What a huge ship! It's probably here for the parade today. Now that's a true luxury liner. I'll bet the food is really good too. Not to mention the coffee afterwards. Sal. Sal Garcel. What? Bitter? Coffee is practically a detective's trademark. Sal Gore. Pikachu, what are you doing? Just giving Excel Gore a lesson in detective etiquette. Right. Anyway, we should probably start gathering testimony. Sal Sal Gore. Sal Gore Sal. Uh, huh? Huh, where's Exelgor going? It said it's not good at communicating. I guess it really is shy. Well, that's no good. It's supposed to be here helping us out. Regarding the warehouses, let's look at what we know. Which testimonies will help us? Now, let's think. Which area is it that has the warehouse we see in the photo? I know where it is. The only warehouse area that stores food and is accessible from the southern path is Area A. Okay, let's head there now. Yeah, this looks like the warehouse in the photo. Uh-huh, look at all that security. Something fishy's going on. We've got to get in somehow. Mm. Oh, check that out. You mean the window? It's open, but how are we going to get to it? Salgor! Says it's doable. Huh? We can do it, Tim. Together. Huh? What? All right. <sighs> <clears throat> Yeah. We can do this, partner. I'm the brains and you are the brawn, right? Uh huh? Wait, what's that sound? Tim, let's go! We'll use this truck as cover and sneak in... Now! did it. Of course we did. With teamwork, we can make the impossible possible. So what do we do now? Stay hidden. Keep moving. That's very valuable cargo. Don't damage it. Mortro. Good. Now we need to jump over there. This is harder than I thought. When did you get this heavy, Pikachu? Rude. This should be easy. Movies always have scenes like this. Meta. This isn't a movie, Meta. you know. Meta. 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 Hey, what was that? Cell door. Cell. Mm. Over there? Job. Selgor. Oh, come on. I was the one doing all of the work. 
Watch out! When you investigate, do it without getting caught. All right, keep it moving! Meta. Come on, pick up the pace! Meta, meta. Pikachu, look at that guy. Oh, it's the same one from the photo. Hey, come here. Anything to report? No, nothing out of the ordinary. Good. Mr. Norman wants us to keep the security here extremely tight. Don't even let a Rattata through. Yes, yes sir. sir. Did you hear that? Keith Norman. So this must be... Yeah, their base of operations. Now, let's have a real good look around. The man in the photo looks like the factory manager. The man in the lab coat's in the next room over. But is that where they're making R? Right, so that's that. Wait. Someone's coming. This way, Pikachu. <laughs> Looks like it's a Pokemon. Don't let it see us. Let's stay and watch what it does. Pikachu, do you think it's okay to try and help it? Yeah. If it decides to cause trouble, we can handle it. Hey, you all right? Um, Seems like a nice Pokemon. Yeah, you're right. Uh, what's all this? A lab coat. Hey, maybe you can let us know what's going on. The room we need to get to on the first floor? It's in the back part of the building. So we'll have to decide who's gonna distract the guards. Okay, got it. Pansage will get the guards' attention. And during that, Excelgore will turn on the conveyor belt. While everyone is busy dealing with all of that, we'll use Spinarak String to make our way down to the room. That sounds like a great plan. Be Mewtwo cells? What? How do you know about these? Who are you? Hmm? Oh no, the factory manager. We're working this case. Don't worry, we're on your side. On my side? Yo, doctor. Hope all is going well. It is almost time, you know. Of course, no problems. Ah, uh, don't look so sad, doc. This is the last shipment. And once it's done, you're free to go. I'll let you get back to work. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. So, did you mean it when you said you were on my side? And how did you know about the cells? This room is familiar. Mmm. I'm getting really close to remembering something. That key. He's making preparations to export R. So what do you think this is? Hmm... I could swear that I've seen this thing before. Well, 
Let's open it and see what's inside. Shouldn't we make sure it's safe before we... Pikachu! This is why I didn't want you to open it yet! Pikachu! 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 Uh, Pikachu! Oh yeah... I guess that wasn't a dream at all... Pikachu... Hmm? Oh, Tim, hi! Are you alright? I knew you shouldn't have opened that up! Yeah... But it made me remember something... It would seem I made quite the commitment... Well, so far, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, close the door now! What? Just close the door! Hurry! Hold it, pal! Hey now, who are you? Uh-oh, not good! <laughs> Open this door! <clears throat> what should we do? He's gonna get us, Pikachu! Seems we're trapped, like a rattata in a cage. I know you're in there! Open up! <clears throat> are you ready? You gotta open up the door just as he tries to smash into it. Got it. Now! Now's our chance! Pikachu, let's use that! You're done. I'm coming after you! Excelgore, distract him for us! Excelgore! Oh, yeah? You wanna fight? Excelgore! Take this! Oh. <laughs> we did it. <sighs> you think this will stop me? Well, apparently not. Where are you? I'm coming for you. Good luck with that. Tip, now's our chance. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, perfect. There's a container right here. It's just big enough for the two of you. Go on, get in. Really? What's it for anyway? The product being shipped today. Guys from the organization will take it, so that should get you right to their headquarters. I don't know. It's our only clue. We've got to take this chance. All right, then. Please take this to Mr. Baker. Your notes on their plans. Great idea, Tim. We're counting on you, Excel Gore. Excel Gore! Hmm. Here they come. Hurry! All right. Come on, Pikachu. But what about you? I'll be fine. Don't worry. Be super careful. Good luck to you both. Doesn't have the mark. Just food. This should be it then. Yep. We better get moving. Keith Norman is not a very patient guy. That's for sure. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I think they're gone. Here. 
Let me help you. Hey, stop treating me like a Pokemon. Whew. Ah, freedom at last. Is this some kind of storage space? It looks like a factory. I agree. But they mentioned Keith's name. Think it's their base? Hmm. I'm not sure if it's their base, but we know the containers with R in them were taken to him. Now what? We look for R, and then I'll bet you we find Keith. Sounds good to me. Let's get going. Hmm. Where did the containers go? Let's follow the trail, Tim. Let's be careful, Tim. Okay? Yeah. Resort? Uh, can't be. A resort in the middle of the sea? I guess so. What else could it be? Uh, this is what's called a luxury cruise ship. You think they're using a cruise ship to smuggle stuff? This is no good. If so, we need to find Keith, and quickly. Right. Oh, wow. This is impressive. Everything is super luxurious. Hey, Tim. Uh, Amelia. What are you doing here? I'm here for work. Apparently watching the parade from this ship is popular among celebrities. But what brought you guys here? We're still on the trail of Keith. The clues led us here. Huh? But what would Keith have to do with this cruise? We don't know for sure, but he must be on the ship at least. We do know that he's smuggling R. Oh no! If that stuff gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster! You've got to let me help you find Keith, alright? I appreciate that, but, uh... I can help you gather information, since I'm a reporter. <sighs> Maybe she's right. Yeah, we could probably use her help. Pikachu! I'd rather not get her involved in this either, but we could use some help. Okay. We're counting on you, Amelia. The best clue we have so far is the show that's supposed to be held in that room. Let's find out more about it. Who would have thought that we'd run into Amelia on this ship? You know what? That's called destiny. Come on, don't act so nonchalant. You're enjoying this, I know. Don't worry, I understand. What? It's coming from this room. Excuse me, hello? Is everything okay? I'm sorry about that. A strange thing was in my bag. Sorry to make such a scene, but it frightened me. Huh? Could I ask you to take a look? Yes, of course. What in the world? Uh, a mask. Isn't it scary looking? Maybe it's some sort of prank. My poor Snubble was quite frightened as well. Uh, is it really that scared? Let's see. Thing. Knock it off, Pikachu! Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I guess it really was scared. This is a real mystery, which means a job for us.
The Henri brothers were truly brilliant. Their meals were loved by Pokemon and people. Between you and me, I'm close to recreating one of their recipes. You mean the famous lost recipe? How is that possible? <laughs> That's a trade secret. I figured as much. That's it for the interview. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, anytime. Especially if you're doing the interview. Oh, my goodness. There you are, Captain Eckhart. Hmm? Well, hello there, Miss Rose. How can I help you? This may sound odd, but I'm afraid my bag has been swapped with someone else's. Look at this. I don't recognize any of the contents. I'm so sorry to hear that. We'll look into it. I really appreciate it. Tim, hello. Hmm, another mystery for you? No, not really. You know, I think I've seen this mask on the news. They said that it was stolen. What? Stolen? Impossible. <sighs> There's an awful lot of strange things going on on this ship. Excuse me. Oh. Hello, Tim. Is there a problem? Well, yes. You see, the mask has gone missing. Huh? I took my eyes off it for a moment, and it disappeared. So, do you think it was stolen? No. The only ones in the room were me and Nosepass. Nobody else came in. What could have happened? Hmm. Let's ask Nosepass. Hey, did you see anything? No. Mm -hmm. Nosepass. No, no, spa. It disappeared in just the blink of an eye. How could that be? No, spa. You say that's the truth, huh? Hmm. So it's a closed room robbery. This should be very interesting. So now the mask has gone missing, too. Let's see if we can find any trace of it in the room. Invisible Pokémon, water drops at the bridge. Of course, I got it! What are you thinking, Pikachu? <laughs> A bolt of brilliance! Yeah! Tim, I figured it out! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it's important we figure out how the invisible Pokémon committed the crime. Is there testimony that tells us when it got onto the bridge? That's it! The invisible Pokémon fell into the pool, and then, it came in with a crew member while it was still wet. Got that? That's why the floor was wet when the crew member left. Now we need to figure out how it stole the mask. After the mask disappeared, was there testimony that helps us figure out how? That's right! Somehow a drink disappeared! That must have been caused by the invisible Pokémon, too. I'll bet that anything that Pokémon puts in its mouth becomes invisible. Which means, the mask is in its mouth. Everyone, I have solved the mystery. Haha! <laughs> I knew we could count on you, Tim. Please tell us who's behind this. Right. You got this. You know who did it. The one responsible for the missing item is a certain Pokémon. Pokémon? But how? The captain assured us that he didn't see anything. Right. Nothing suspicious entered or left the room. I'm afraid that you must be mistaken. No. I'm not mistaken at all. I'll tell you exactly how it went down. This specific Pokémon can make itself invisible, so the captain didn't see it. It snuck into the room with the captain and Nosepass, and committed the crime, while they were distracted. Then... what happened to my bag? The culprit still has your bag, too. And is here in this room, 
as part of this group. And so is the mysterious Pokémon. Tim, look carefully. You see it, right? I'll tell you the culprit. You, Gino! What?! Is this a joke? I don't know any mysterious Pokémon. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, you do. It's Kecleon, and it's right beside you. Uh, boo! Yeah! Oh, the mask! Is this some kind of joke? I don't know this Pokémon. And what is the mask doing here? Still trying to play innocent, aren't you? Tell him what we know, Tim. Gino. You boarded this ship for a reason. To achieve your goal, isn't that right? I don't know what you mean. I came for a vacation, not to achieve a goal. You sure about that? I think the reason you're here is for the secret auction. A secret auction? What are you talking about? Right here's the proof. A list of all the items offered. It has the Henri Brothers recipe book. Coincidence? This is what you really wanted, isn't it? Do you remember what you said earlier? You were close to recreating the recipes of the Henri brothers? Recipes that were lost forever? That was a lie. You were counting on getting the recipe book, weren't you? <sighs> what was I supposed to do, huh? I ran out of ideas for new menus. I need to amaze my customers, and that's a lot of pressure, all right? Do you know why? You were a genius chef. I never expected you to do something like this. No matter how talented you are, you'll get rusty if you stop trying to improve. Back to washing dishes for you. So Gino was the culprit, huh? All right, I guess that case is closed. I didn't expect there to be a secret auction on this ship. I doubt I could get in, wearing a hoodie. You know what? I'll go investigate. I brought a dress for conducting the interviews. What? I can't let you go alone. It's too dangerous. Don't worry about me. I'm used to getting scoops. I don't know. Hmm. If only we could get past the dress code. It sounds like it's a suit you need. Maybe my husband's jacket would work for you? Are you sure? But it must be very special to you. Oh, it's fine. I'm happy to help you out. That's so nice of you. Lucky you, Tim. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I'm ready to go. Wow. Looking good, Amelia. Tim, look! Uh, uh, uh... You look really great, Amelia. Thanks, Tim. You look pretty sharp, too. That's nice to hear, huh? The suit's more classy than you are, but hey. Oh, you're a very handsome young man. Oh, oh yes. Pikachu, this is... For you. Huh? What's that? Ooh. Pikachu, a tie. Miss Rose, thank you so much. <laughs> well, what do you think? Who's the classy one now? <sighs> I hope that bow tie isn't too tight for him. No problem. It's all in the name of fashion. Crocker, huh? Crocker, Crocker. <sighs> oh, what's up? Is there some kind of problem? Karak! Karak! Kraka! 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 What are you talking about? Why would you say I look shady? It's not true! You're very rude! Karak! Mm, these goons wouldn't know style if it hit him over the head. Tim! Show him our tickets. Hmm. Here you are. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Very good. Please put these on once you're inside. Kara, Kara, Kraka, Kraka, Kara. <laughs> 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 
It looks like Keith hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, no sign of a guy with a ponytail. What's with the bizarre atmosphere of this place anyway? Tim, over here! Wait up, Pikachu. Amelia, be careful, all right? Yeah. I'll let you know if I see anyone suspicious. Thanks. All right. Well, at least these masks should keep our identities somewhat hidden. We're coming for you, Keith. Soon. So this is what will be up for auction before Keith's turn. Let's go take a look at the people here before things are ready to go. Now let the bidding begin. Any more bidders? There's still time to bid. Any more bidders? There's not much time left. Any more bidders? Item is now sold. Thank you all for your participation. The auction is over. Tim, you won the bid! I'm so excited for you! It looks like Keith will be the next one up. Just remain cool. I'm sure you know who I am. The great detective, Pikachu! Mm. How did you like that? Pretty awesome, wouldn't you say? <laughs> this could be it. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. I have a very special item to offer you. This is the Astonishing Chemical R. It will draw out the full power of your Pokémon. Not only will R give your Pokémon tremendous power, but it will leave behind absolutely no trace at all once its effects are over. Perhaps some of you in the audience will recall the accident that happened a year ago at Fine Park. That accident was in fact caused by R. Amelia. Yeah, don't worry, I'm getting all of it. All right, Tim, now. Excuse me, a question. If you use that chemical, is it possible to cause crimes without being caught? Hmm? Well, of course you could. Oh, that sounds like false advertising, Keith. What? Tell me who you are! So we meet again, Keith. Now, you're coming with us! Scroopy, keep them busy. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, detective. What? I want to show you what R can do. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with the Crocorock! What should we do? Uh, oh! That's it! Perfect! Take that! It worked, Pikachu! Good. Now let's get Keith! Yeah! Noivern! Uh, 
how many tricks does Keith have? I'll see you around, detective. Don't feel bad. You did the best that you could. Oh no, he's gonna escape. Tim, lift me up to the handrail. What? Just trust me. Come on. Okay. Here I go. Why must you keep getting in my way? Neuver! Neuver! Skorupi, get over here! Rupi! Oh no, you don't! Skorupi! You? What are you doing? You're not getting away this time, Keith! How dare you! Let go of me! Oh no! I've got to do something right away! I won't let you escape, Keith! Stop! If I let go, you'll be going down with me too, you know! Guess what? I'm willing to risk that! Thank you, Chandelure. I'm okay. Thank you for the rescue. You're welcome. Tim, that was great work. That's so cute. Even Pikachu was worried hmm? about you. What's she talking about? You shouldn't be so reckless. You scared me. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you were able to capture him. Good job, Tim. We really appreciate your help. Thanks to you, the whole R case can finally be closed. I'm ashamed we weren't more help to you, but you brought peace to the city. Thank you, but what about? Ah, you're wondering about Harry. Don't worry, we're still looking. You'll know as soon as I do. I promise you that. Thanks. Hate to disappoint you, but you won't be getting any information out of me. What do you mean by that? How am I supposed to know something about a guy who went and got himself into an accident? I can't imagine he'd be alive after going off that cliff, though. <sighs> Don't listen to him. I survived it, and I'm sure Harry did too. <sighs> oh, Tim. Go. Take him away. Well, I hope you all enjoy the exciting parade. Don't worry about it, Pikachu. Yeah. We've just gotta wait. We've captured Keith. Now that should close the R case for good. What's up? You all right? I know you're worried about your father. Yeah. But Inspector Holliday's looking into it. That was quite a day we had, huh? Yeah, it sure was. But thanks to you, we finally caught Keith. That's really huge, you know? Oh, come on. You're really the one who was responsible for most of that. Anyway... That's nice of you to say. It means a lot to me. Honestly, I regretted covering the accident at Fine Park. I still do. Why? I guess, because of that, the park had to be closed down. And that separated the Pokémon. Just because it's true, doesn't always mean that it should be broadcast. Amelia. I'm happy if I was truly able to help solve this case. Even in a small way. Not small at all. Who knows what would have happened if you weren't there? Oh, you exaggerate. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, where's Pikachu? Uh, 
That's a good question. I don't know. Oh. The fireworks have started. Wow, they're beautiful. I agree. So beautiful. So, do you remember your promise now? Yeah. I promised you that I would retrieve your cells. And I also promised to destroy everything regarding R. And now, I fulfilled my end of the bargain. No, not yet. Some of my cells are still out there. Somewhere. Really? How do you know that? What do you mean, somewhere? That, I cannot say. I can feel them. That is all. Oh man. I hope you're not one of those tedious types. I cannot allow them to remain in the world. I must destroy them with my own hands. Whoa, calm yourself down. Humans cannot be trusted. I have told you this. It seems you have forgotten that as well. Huh? I never heard anything like that before. Oh yeah, I knew you were the tedious type. I would say that all of you are the tedious ones. I will simplify things. I can simply destroy everything with this. No, wait, wait, wait! You stopped me back then as well. The real you, that is. What? You were the one who told me that the human world could be tedious. Which is why I trusted you to take care of things for me. But now, it seems that there are some humans who can be dependable. Hmm? All right. Well, just leave it to me. Of course! They're planning to disperse R during the parade. <sighs> That would be a disaster. But how do they have GNN information? Keith shouldn't know any of this. Good question. Could it be that someone inside GNN is working with Keith? Impossible. For now, let's focus on what we can do. Yeah, you're right. I wish we knew where they're going to disperse R. Let's figure it out from the camera locations and the parade route. Baker can get that information for us. Perfect. Sir, could we use your radio, please? Uh, sure. <sighs> Are you all right? Not much farther to go. Yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> no time for a break. Let's go. If R gets released here, it'll be a catastrophe. We have to hurry. <sighs> Mr. Baker, did you find that information? Yes. The parade route and a map of the city, that right? It's all here. Come take a look. Thank you so much. Oh, thank goodness. That's the Baker Detective Agency for you. They don't waste time. Here's what we know. From these documents and your information, we should be able to deduce where the culprit plans to release are. Right. Perfect. Let's do this, Tim. 
Let's take all the information that we got from Baker, put it together with what we've gathered, and figure out where the culprit plans to disperse are. Here's the map of Rhyme City. Draw in the areas where GNN is filming. One of these areas is where the culprit plans on spreading R. Let's draw in the info about the parade that Baker gave us. There are three groups in the parade. So let's figure out where they'll be filming and all the different parade routes. Here's the culprit's goal. To spread R in an area where there's lots of Pokemon. And also, to have GNN cameras broadcast it all. Where's the best place to do that? Okay. The three parades will be meeting in the central square at 8 p.m. It's making sense now. The culprit must have timed things to happen then. Hurry! So that means if they're going to release R, it'll be in the central square at 8. Yeah, that's what I think as well. The parade's finale could be a major disaster. Tim, it's already past 7 o'clock. We're running out of time. Mr. Baker, I'll head to the square right away. Sure. I'll be there very soon, too. But first, I need to get this information to Holiday. Let's go, Tim. Right. And you, Amelia? Of course I'm going with you. We can't let this happen. Let's go find the culprit. Yeah. The central square is a huge area. But R must be hidden here somewhere. We need to find it quickly. thing is huge. And it could really cause mass panic, too. We can't let this thing get triggered. Amelia, there's not much time. Could you contact Inspector Holiday? We'll try and see if we can stop this machine. Yes, absolutely. I'll make sure to get him here right away. Please be careful. You ready? Let's do this. Where should we start? It looks like it's supposed to mix the liquids on either side in the central tank. This machine looks important. Let's open it up. All right. <sighs> wow. The culprit definitely put some effort into making this thing. Come on, let's disarm it. Huh? You know how to do that? I think I've got the basic idea. I know how to handle most varieties of machinery. So, let's do it. First, we need to take out these screws. Are you sure? Trust me, I don't call myself a great detective for nothing. Ah, it's this type. All right, pull the cable connected to the machine. Pikachu, the time! Don't panic. This is... Tim, I've got it. The machine will stop if we push the four buttons in the order they light up. First, press the red button at the center, the one that's lit up. It stopped? Yeah, we're safe now. We did it. <laughs> you really did know how to disarm that machine, Pikachu. Yeah, they had an article about this stuff in last month's detective journal. What? Detective journal? Yeah, <laughs> that was a joke. All great detectives have this kind of skill. All right, time for a final thought. In all the cases we've solved, there was one where Keith tried to directly cause you harm. Which one was it? Yeah, that's right. You were involved in an accident that was all set up by Keith. But in order to cause that accident, Keith needed time to prepare beforehand. So how do you suppose he was able to do that? 
Is there a clue that could let us know? You're right! Keith must have been working with some kind of mastermind. That's how our information was leaked. There were only three people who knew we were headed to GNN. And I'm not including Amelia. Ethan, Roger, and then Mako. I think the mastermind has to be one of those three. Is there any definitive testimony that shows us who it is? You know, Keith was the only one we told that I'm not able to use any moves. So, the person with that information has got to be the mastermind behind all this. Then that can only mean... A bolt? A brilliance! The, the culprit, culprit is... Roger! We need to let everyone know. Yeah. Why are you in such a hurry, Tim? Roger! Oh no, Amelia! She's filled me in on what you're doing. I understand you've captured Keith. And now you've managed to wreck my machine. That's quite an accomplishment. Tim, don't bother with me, just... <clears throat> Listen up. Open the valves on both sides of the machine and start it up. Roger, how can you do something like this? Just get moving. Let go of me! I just need to turn this handle, right? Right. You completely destroyed the circuitry, but it can still be activated manually if you open the valves. Clever of you to have a failsafe. By the way... Why smuggle R in the first place? Are all detectives this inquisitive? <laughs> to seize control of the world. For starters, I needed to make GNN the most influential TV station in this city. Why are you targeting the carnival? Less talking and more turning. But I suppose this will be our last conversation. So I might as well say. It's because I'm gathering data for R. There aren't a lot of opportunities where so many Pokémon are in one place. Besides, if GNN gets the scoop on the chaos, it'll help our reputation that much more. And once I accomplished that and GNN was in my power, I could use it to control all the information in Rhyme City, meaning this city is mine to rule. But of course, a plan like that needed money, you know? That's so wrong. What's wrong is you two interfering in my plans. I have Mewtwo cells, fortunately, so I can make as much R as I need. Hmm? Anyway, where'd that Pikachu go? <laughs> Amelia, over here, hurry! Blast! I let my guard down this time. But your Pikachu can't use electricity, now can it? Which means, you are no match for me! Noivern! Come! No! no! Tim, hold on! Huh? What? Yeah! His eyes are red. He must have used R. I'm not sure. It seems too calm. <laughs> Very good, Tim. So what do you think of the new and improved R? What do you mean? This new version allows the Pokémon to recognize its partner. Do it, Noivern! Yeah! Uh -oh. It's trying to break the tank! Not so fast! Tim, stay back! Yeah. Uh, 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 uh.
Pikachu! Oh no! Pikachu, are you alright? Tim... Oh, thank goodness, he's awake. So I guess that means the case is closed. We still need to get the cells. Uh, yeah, they should be the last of them. It's over. You did good, Tim. Thank you. Let's go. Who knows what would have happened if it weren't for you guys. Your help is much appreciated. It's an honor. But, you know, we also had an awful lot of help, too. Nah, it was your detective work that saved the day. I'm so surprised. I never expected him. But if you told me that it was Mr. Graham, now that I could have believed. Thank you, Mako. You know I can hear you. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, no. Here you are, just like I promised you. Indeed. Thank you. So, that means it's my turn now. We don't have much time. Have you decided on which one to choose? Yeah, I've made up my mind. So be it. Pikachu, what's wrong? <laughs> Mewtwo? Uh, Tim, Mewtwo, it knows Harry. Pikachu! There is no need to worry. Pikachu is only asleep. He will awaken in time. Hold on! Your father, Harry, is still alive. You will find him eventually, provided you do not give up. But what happened to him? Wait! Mewtwo! What's up, Pikachu? Pika? What? Yeah. What's going on? Don't you understand me anymore? Pika! 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 Pika? Oh no. Is it because you pushed yourself too hard yesterday to save me? Pikachu? Blah! I got you! Oh boy, that was a good one! No, that wasn't good! Don't let something like that upset you. You're a detective! I'm not upset. I knew it was just a prank. Oh, did you now? Well, get used to it. I'll be taking care of you for a while. Taking care of me? Well, what's next? <sighs> Searching for my father. Hopefully, with the great detective Pikachu as my partner. All right, now you're talking. Let's go, Tim. Yeah. I've got to admit, I was surprised. I didn't think he could pull off a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Well, what are you talking about? You don't remember? You saved my life. That's right, I guess I do remember saving the day. Of course you do. More importantly, I made you tear up just now, didn't I?